Lately, I've been thinking about the time where we as a collective was confined to our homes during the pandemic. And I was also thinking how little street photography I did back then. But there's nothing I can do about that now. But what I can do is to make time now, just because I love street photography, because it gives me joy and a sense of purpose. If you also struggle with finding time to do street photography, then this video might be for you. I like to share a few things that I do to make time for street photography, even with a busy schedule. I gave myself permission and also permission to fail. Anytime I start something new, I have to convince myself that I want to do this. And once I'm over that, it's really beneficial for me to also allow myself permission to fail. Because most of the time when we're trying out something new, it's connected to fear or it's holding us back. So allowing myself to fail, it's a really good way for me to get started. There's a principle in the software industry called fail fast. It essentially means that you detect bugs in the development cycles early on so you can course correct. And I've used this same principle in my own line of work for years, especially when I'm formulating different hypotheses, you know, to weed out one over the other. I would go that far and say that this principle can be applied to street photography as well because when you go out and fail fast in whatever you're trying to do you also remove that fear up front because most likely you won't be able to succeed in whatever you're trying to master in one go or maybe two goes you have to go over and try it multiple times so for example when i was learning about panning or long exposure i had to do it a few times before i nailed it but initially when i went out i had the fear of not knowing what settings to use how to do it and all these things really helped because i failed fast and I got rid of the fear that was holding me back so that way I could really focus on the task at hand and really get into practicing whatever I was trying to learn. After I gave myself permission to do street photography I made a decision of making street photography a priority in my life because I find it important and it gives me value like any other priorities in my life like spending time with friends and family, exercising, watching Netflix or what have you. I also found it very easy to stick to it because after I made it my priority I didn't have to argue with myself, I didn't have to convince myself and also most importantly, I didn't feel guilty about going out and spending time on something that I really love to do. Since I decided to make street photography a priority in my life, things became a bit more practical. So what I did was that I scheduled myself in as an appointment and I dedicated a specific time slot where I wanted to do street photography. That way I didn't forget about doing street photography and I treated it the same way I would treat a work appointment and I gave it the same importance and also I could really hold myself accountable if I didn't go out and do street photography. And since I've scheduled myself in in my calendar I started small and I started with small habits so I was it was very important for me not to overwhelm myself so I didn't kind of assign five hours of street photography that I had to do weekly or twice a week so I started very slowly so basically I just said to myself you know go out for 30 minutes or 15 minutes and see how you feel and that way I kind of progressed on that and built more on top of that so now I do street photography as long as I like if my calendar is free and I have the time for it but otherwise I have around one hour one hour and a half for me it's very important to start small and feel good about it and then gradually put more on top of it having a recurring appointment in my calendar is all well and good but sometimes I just don't feel motivated and to keep me motivated to going out and doing street photography I tend to give myself assignments so basically self assignments because it gives me a reason to go out and practice whatever I want to practice and also it keeps things interesting. When I'm out doing street photography, I try to have an open mind as possible and not having too many expectations. Or if I have a self-assignment, I try just to focus at the task at hand and not being distracted by other things that are going on. This goes without saying, but you have to practice. And I think this is the most overlooked aspect of street photography that people don't understand, especially new street photographers, that you have to go out and practice and you have to go out and practice a lot. And I would put it this way, keep repeating until it becomes second nature to you to go out and hit the streets. When I make time for street photography during my very busy schedule, I found my joy. I hope you can find your joy too with street photography otherwise what's the point this was my special formula to doing street photography even with a hectic schedule so i hope you got some value out of it all right take care see you in the next one